Hi all, good morning from very snowy, very kind of cold and miserable Switzerland. Um, obviously only good morning if it's morning, if it's not morning, good whatever time of the day it is to you. Today in this vlog we're just going to have a quick chat about Studio Block Masters which is happening this weekend in Darmstadt up in Germany. So not too far out of Frankfurt, really well established competition, famous one of the best non-IFSC World Cup internationals that you're going to find out there. You know, there's four or five that really strike me as being the top international boulder comps of the year, and Studio Block Masters is definitely on that list. So Studio Block's going to be a really interesting one because for some of the athletes, it's going to be their last competitive outing before the European Champs, which are being held in Moscow in a couple of weekends' time. For others, it might be their last outing before the World Cup season. And with the way coronavirus is going, we don't actually know how the World Cup season is going to pan out yet. Obviously, we've already lost the Chinese World Cups. I think there's a high chance that we will lose the Korean World Cup. And it's even possible we'll lose Myringen because... Here in Switzerland, the banned public gatherings of over a thousand people, and you're going to get more than a thousand people in Myringen. Now, what I hope happens is that they go ahead with the competitions, but and this will sound harsh, but they just ban spectators. They just make it a closed competition, like they're doing with a bunch of other sports, and everyone can just watch the live stream. Really, it'll change up the atmosphere. It'll be a different vibe, but still be great to see everyone great to get the competitions happening and at this time of coronavirus you know COVID-19 where everyone's locked down and in their houses and not doing as much I think having live stream sporting content and stuff like that to keep people psyched is probably a really good thing but regardless of what's happening with the World Cup season we have a big comp this weekend in Studio Block Masters and incredible field Got a bunch of Olympic qualifiers will be there. From Slovenia, we have Jan Gambra and Mia Krampel will be competing. Jesse Pills will be competing from Austria, so that's three of the Olympic females in the field. In the men's, we have Alberto Guinness Lopez from Spain and Jakob Schubert from Austria will be competing. So you got five already qualified Olympians in the field. And then you have a bunch of people who will be going across to European champs in a couple of weeks and are still seeking entry into the Olympics. Um, so this one's going to be really important for the climbers to play out, to see how they feel, to see where they're at. Just basically a sanity check on their winter's training to make sure that everything's right. Obviously now it can be a little bit too late to change anything if you're looking at European champs but on the flip side if you're looking at Olympics it's perfect time because you're still several months out and you can go okay wow I, I'm feeling a bit weak or wow this isn't feeling good etc etc also some really other strong standouts in the field Ariane Bertoni from France incredibly talented UFB climber will be there so excited she's just been a phenomenon in the european youth cups and at u4 champs really excited to see what she can do in one of her first adult comps she's done a couple but this is you know definitely one of the first you've also got flabby is here from um france flabby kahoot who is world cup climber as well dna kruder from slovenia You've got Vadim Timonov will be here, Lexi Rupsov, Evgeny Zazulin. So really strong field. You've got Luka Reshevich, can't make the Olympics now, but will be wanting to show what she can do. Uh, Ushka Rapusik from Slovenia as well, European boulder champion, will be psyched. You've got Gabriel Moroni is on the list. Not sure if Gabriel will make it purely because of coronavirus. I mean, obviously, when I say make it, I, I hope... He's well and everything, but not sure with all the Italians on the list whether they're going to make the trip up or whether it's just not advisable for them to do so. I guess we're going to see that on the weekend. Uh, you've also got some amazing climbers in there. Uh, Yenya Kaspakova still looking for Olympic qualification in Moscow. She'll be competing. Chloe Coulier coming off a really strong win in 
Doc Masters, she'll be competing. So I think there'll be a lot to watch. We've got a fantastic commentary team. We have Gaz Perry and Mike Langley from the UK are coming across to commentate it, which will be fantastic. They do a really good job. Semis and finals will be live streamed on Sunday. So, you know, I recommend everyone tune in, check it out. If you're in the area, maybe don't come. Uh, you know, I don't know. This is a weird thing. Normally I'd tell everyone to come to a comp, but now... Uh, coronavirus I'm not so sure as I used to be but yeah really at the top of the field I'm looking at a big battle I'm expecting to see Yanya Gambrett shine because Yanya Gambrett I um, mean she's got a strong history in Studio Block Masters one thing that was never shown on the live stream because it was a qualifying moment a few years ago and qualifying isn't live streamed is she did a boulder problem which only a couple of the male climbers managed to do because in qualifying in studio block it's mixed problems it doesn't matter if you're male or female you you try the same problems and one of the problems really tricky from memory alexi did it and i think maybe jung Won chan and then yanya gambre and you know hugely strong field only those three did it it's one of the few opportunities she gets in the season if ever to climb on the same boulders as the guys in a competitive nature uh, unfortunately only in qualifying i'd love to see it in semis and finals as well but that's just how it goes but uh, i'd be looking at her and jesse really at the top of the pack and the woman's probably both trying to establish themselves a bit early in the season trying to make a mark trying to get a little bit of psychological leverage on the other one also looking for a really strong comeback from Katja Kadic. She's had a big break. Um, she'll be super psyched to be there. Chloe Coulier, as I said earlier, super psyched. In the men's, a little bit more wide open. Yannick Chloe on home soil, expecting big things. I know he will have been devastated missing Olympic selection after Jan qualified in Toulouse. So I'm really expecting Yannick to come out firing. You know, he's so incredibly strong. Love to see what he's got. Jakob as well always strong in these competitions joining them the russian trio who knows uh gregor vazonic another one it's going to be deep i think semi-finals is going to be pretty much world cup standard obviously minus the japanese and john Won john and a couple of americans but yeah it pretty much world cup standard and then i think finals will be pretty much a lineup you could see in a world cup anywhere so yeah, definitely tune in, psyched for it. I will do a rundown after the event. This was just a quick pre-event rundown. Cool, hope you guys enjoy. Uh, as always, please like, share, subscribe. Put your thoughts and comments, who you think will do well, what you want to see in the comp. Are you excited about anything in particular? And yeah, I will talk to you next, either during the comp or after the comp. Thanks very much.